Hi, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Whatever time it is for you in your geographical location, you're welcome to the sure word for today's blog audio narration. The sure word for today's blog post is published on the sure word for today's website at www.theshoreword.org.uk. Today's topic for the sure word for today's blog post is How I Get So Much Done by Jefferson Otenbara in B. This is part of our effective time management series. Please follow the links provided below if you prefer to read the blog post. Take a moment to ponder on this quote by Kobe Bryant. Quote. I've pretty much done all I can hear and, you know, God will carry me the rest of the way, so I'm pretty comfortable with that. Unquote. How I get so much done. Time is of the essence. This is one of the most attractive statements in my life. It opens me up to various ideas. I started the effective time management series across my social media platforms, becoming more open and conscious about time management. It is refreshing and gives me vitality. Every passing moment I am becoming an expert in managing my time. I said that you cannot catch or overtake me during the day. By the time you are awake, I have completed almost 70% of my tasks for the day. I have accomplished so much. I know so because I use the toggle track to track and monitor every single task during the day. The toggle track is intuitive, simple, and easy to switch between tasks and edit time if necessary. It allows me to track my daily activities across different platforms, providing detailed insights and an opportunity to optimize my workflow by identifying areas where I can improve. My day begins between 2.45 to 4 a.m. The average time I start the day is 3.20 a.m. I wake up without alarms. I wake up effortlessly at the exact time frame I intended to wake up. My subconscious and conscious mind are a team, they collaborate with me. They work behind the scenes to fulfill my desire to wake me up when I set my mind to wake. The day started with my daily affirmation and prayers. Then I publish the sure word for today's daily devotion. I post my quotes. Depending on the day, I will catch up with one of the developers working on a project in a different time zone. I will write some reviews, write part of my manuscript, then head up for a walk with my wife. Depending on the day, after the walk, I continue with jogging. By the time is it 8 a.m., I have completed most tasks. The secret is not about what I accomplished during the day. I have learned to make the very most of my time and opportunity. I am aware and time conscious. I don't joke with my time at all. In my mind, I treat the people that come to waste my time as armed robbers. They have a gun on me, and I will negotiate with wisdom to get them to put down their weapon so I can escape. I have to run far away from this kind of people. I refuse to give them another opportunity to steal my precious, valuable time. Because I have not said so, I meditate and pray very often. I listen to recordings of my affirmation. I cleanse my mind and stay positive. I live above my challenges as I make sure nothing can bring down my spirit no matter what. The biggest time wasters identified is social media and checking emails. My routine is to check my emails only once a day. I check social media feeds once a day as well. Talking about priority, I complete my most important task, MIT, first and complete the rest according to their priority. By 8 a.m., I am already fulfilled because I have this deep sense of satisfaction after completing my most important task for the day. The rest of my tasks are an addition. I am not under any pressure because I feel satisfied with what I have already accomplished for the day. The feeling of satisfaction improves my confidence. My secret, my satisfaction, the reason I get so much done, is in the power of habit. Yes, you heard me. My pleasure comes from the power of habit, the strength of repetition, the backbone of success. Oh, dear. Are you kidding me? I know you know this is it, but you are not considering it. You thought I wanted to share one out-of-the-box secret with you. I am not a fan of the out-of-the-book theory. There is so much inside the box that I am yet to accomplish. I have not consumed all that is inside yet. 
I need the discipline to stay focused and look at the details in the box to create the solution. You build on habits over time. Creating a habit starts with planning and preparation. When you identify a terrible habit, you must find and implement the solution. Here you are working to develop a new habit. You support the new habit through planning and preparation. You can achieve success when you have the power of habit at your disposal. Your daily habit is the key to your life, it is your future. Start now to implement new positive behaviors and make them a habit as you take control of your future today. To allow my habits to grow and become part of my life, I stopped wishing and started doing. I had to take command of my life. Life has no meaning until you give it meaning. You give everything its meaning. It is you. You are the one in charge. Your outlook on life is deeply entangled in your propensity for success. To better handle your perceptions, emotions, and behavior, it is helpful to look at how you think. I understood the importance of tiny steps. They lead to a happier, healthier you. On my journey to form the habits I needed for a particular change, I was not afraid to take tiny steps. Patience is essential. I refused to be hurried as I was determined to make the most of this opportunity. I created the chance to culture and nurtured a particular set of habits for myself. All your choices influence your life in some way. Ingraining your choices in your daily routine becomes a habit over time. Once the habit is formed, it is hard to change. Your everyday decisions become a deep part of how you see yourself and live your life. Every habit follows a similar pattern. Every habit starts with a conscious decision then transforms into something you do because it has become a part of who you are. It's not deliberate. It doesn't need a reason. You bathe every morning because you bathe every morning. That's it. It's not rocket science. Your habits define your life. They determine where you are going in life, your destination. You have unhealthy and healthy habits. It is your responsibility to weed out unhealthy habits and replace them with healthy ones. When you show me a person's daily routine, I will tell you about their destination in life, not because I am a psychic, but because habits always have long-term consequences, positive or negative. Habits are influential, but they are not destiny. You have the power to change your habits. Remember, there is power in tiny steps. Small habits make a big difference. Habits are the compound interest of self-improvement. The same way that money multiplies through compound interest, the effects of your habits multiply as you repeat them. We have reached the end. Thank you for listening. If this has inspired you, please help us share with others so they too can be inspired. The Sure Word blog is a product of the Sure Word for Today, from the Sure Foundation Transcend Ministries, United Kingdom. Once again, Thank you and have a gorgeous day. God bless you.